Disassembling, Cleaning, and Reassembling the Springfield Armory Prodigy. Safety first. Before starting the disassembly, ensure your firearm is unloaded. Drop the magazine and lock the slide to the rear using the slide stop. Visually and physically inspect the chamber to confirm it's completely empty. Always keep your finger off the trigger during this process. Disassembly. Loosen the guide drum. While the slide is locked to the rear, use a 532nd hex wrench to loosen the guide rod by turning it counterclockwise. However, do not completely unscrew it at this stage. Align the slide. Just like with any 1911, align the semicircular disassembly notch on the slide with the slide stop. Carefully pull out the slide stop. Remove the slide. With the slide still under tension from the recoil spring, maintain control as you gently slide it forward off the frame rails. Set the grip frame aside as no further disassembly is required for field stripping. Disassemble the slide assembly. Hold the slide firmly with one hand while maintaining control of the recoil spring. Unscrew and remove the guide rod completely using the 532nd hex wrench. Be cautious as the spring is under tension. Remove the reverse plug by slightly pulling it out of the slide while keeping the slide in the vertical position. Cleaning. Barrel cleaning. Use a clean rod to run several solvent soaked patches through the barrel. Follow up by running a brush through the barrel's full length to remove powder residue. Run a couple of dry patches through the barrel to ensure it's clean. If necessary, repeat the process until the patches come out clean. Finish by running a lightly oiled patch through the barrel. Component cleaning. Use a clean patch to wipe down all components, paying special attention to the parts with heavy residue like the barrel hood. Ensure all surfaces are clean and apply a light coat of oil to protect them. Reassembly. Reassemble the slide. Start by placing the barrel back into the slide. Insert the reverse plug into the tunnel near the barrel assembly from the front. Ensure ensuring proper orientation. Reinstall the recoil spring and guide rod. If you encounter resistance, check the alignment of the barrel and guide rod to ensure they are seated correctly. Reattach the slide to the frame. Align the slide with the frame rails and carefully slide it back onto the frame. Reinsert the slide stop into the correct position. Lock the slide back and tighten the guide rod assembly with a 532nd hex wrench until snug. Final check. Ensure everything is properly assembled and functions correctly. The slide should move smoothly without any resistance. Optic and magazine maintenance. Red dot optic maintenance. If you have a red dot optic installed, now is a great time to clean and check it. Cleaning the optic lens. Use a lens cloth or a lens specific cleaning wipes to gently remove any dust, smudges, or fingerprints from the optics lens. Avoid using abrasive materials that could scratch the lens. Check battery life. Verify that the battery is functioning well and replace it if necessary. It's a good practice to change the battery at regular, at regular intervals to ensure the optic is always ready for use. Inspect the mount. Check that the optic is securely mounted to the slide. Tighten any screws if needed. Ensure that the optic remains properly zeroed. Magazine maintenance. Disassemble the magazines by removing the base plate, follower, and spring. Wipe down the interior of the magazine body to remove any dirt, debris, or residue. Inspect the spring and follower for wear or damage, and replace them if necessary. Reassemble the magazine, ensuring the spring is properly seated and the follower moves smoothly.
Your Springfield Armory Prodigy optic and magazine are now clean, reassembled, and ready for use. As always, I'll see you on the high ground or in the next video. Razor MP out.